You ask and the Quran answers part 4. 31. What is the destination of the disbelievers? O hypocrites! Today no ransom will be accepted from you from the punishment of Allah, nor from those who disbelieved in Allah openly, and your outcome and the outcome of the disbelievers is the hellfire. It is most deserving of you, and you are most deserving of it, how bad an outcome it is. Al-Hadid, 57, 15 For those who deny Allah will be the fire of hell, in which they will remain forever. Neither will the decision of death be passed for them, so they can die and be relieved from the punishment, nor will the punishment of hell be alleviated for them in any way. Similar to this recompense, I will reward every person who denies the favors of his Lord on the Day of Judgment. Fatir, 36 And to punish the hypocrites, male and female, and to punish those men and women who ascribe partners to Allah, and who think that Allah will not assist his religion and not raise his word. And that fortune will turn against the believers, but fortune turned against them. Allah became angry with them because of their disbelief and evil thought and he expelled them from his mercy and prepared for them in the afterlife hell which they will enter to remain there forever. What a miserable place of return for them. Al-Fath, 6 O Messenger! Do not ever think that those who disbelieve in Allah will slip away from him when he intends to punish them. Their abode on the day of judgment is hell, what an evil abode hell is. An-Nur, 57 Those who do bad actions disbelieving and doing wrong, will receive equal repayment in the afterlife for the sins they committed in this life. Their faces will be covered in humiliation and disgrace, and there will be no one to save them from the punishment that Allah will give them. It will be as if their faces were covered by patches of blackness of the dark night because of the great amount of smoke and blackness that will reach them from the fire of hell. Such people are the companions of the fire of hell, where they will live eternally. Eunice, 27 And if wished to give every soul guidance and ability, I would have forced them onto this, but through wisdom and justice it was necessary to pass the decree that I would definitely fill hell on the day of judgment with the disbelievers from the Thakalan. The jinns and the humans, because of their choosing the path of disbelief and error over the path of belief and steadfastness. And on the day of judgment it will be said to them in rebuke and censure. Now taste the punishment due to your heedlessness of the meeting with Allah on the day of judgment for accountability in the worldly life. I shall leave you in the punishment without caring for how much you suffer from it. Taste the punishment of the everlasting hellfire that will not end, because of the sins you lead to commit in the world. As Sajda, 13 14. Indeed, Allah, may he be glorified, has exiled the disbelievers from his mercy, and prepared a flaring fire that awaits them on the day of judgment. They will remain in the punishment of that fire forever. They will not find a guardian that benefits them in it, nor a helper who protects them from its punishment. Al Azab, 64 65. So we will definitely make those who disbelieved in Allah and rejected his messenger suffer from a severe punishment on the day of judgment. I will definitely requite them with the punishment for the worst of their actions, i.e. ascribing partners with Allah and sins. That aforementioned requital is the requital of those who disbelieved in him and rejected his messengers, it is the hellfire which they will live forever never to come out of it. It is a requital for their rejection of the verses of Allah and not believing in them despite their clarity and strength and proof. Fushalat, 27-28 Those whom Allah does not bless with guidance and lets them stray from the truth, they will have no one to take charge of their affairs after him. You will see those who wrong themselves by disbelief and sins, when they will see the punishment on the day of resurrection, longingly saying. If only we are able to return to the world and repent to Allah. You will see, O Messenger, these wrongdoers when they are exposed to the fire, whilst they are humiliated and disgraced, looking at people surreptitiously due to their extreme fear for it. Those who had faith in Allah and his messengers will say. The true losers are those who lost themselves and their families on the day of resurrection on account of the punishment of Allah that they received. Indeed, those who wrong themselves by disbelief and sins will be in a lasting punishment that will never end. Asycura 44-45 Had those who disbelieve in Allah and his messengers owned everything in the earth and the likeness of it and gave all of that to ransom themselves from Allah's punishment on the day of judgment. Such ransom will not be accepted from them. And they will receive a painful punishment they will want to leave the fire of hell after they enter it. But how can that happen? They will never come out of it. Instead, they will always remain in it and they will receive a continuous punishment. Almeida, 36, 37 Those who disbelieve in Allah and his messengers and wrong themselves by remaining in disbelief, Allah will not forgive them as long as they continue in disbelief. 
nor will he guide them to a path of salvation from his punishment. Except the path that leads to hellfire, where they will live eternally. That is easy for Allah and nothing can hinder his decision. And Nisa 168-169 Allah has promised the hypocrites and the disbelievers who do not repent that he will make them enter the fire of hell to live there eternally, it is a sufficient punishment for them. Allah has distanced them from his mercy and for them is an everlasting punishment. At Taba, 68 O Messenger, strive against the disbelievers by fighting against them with the sword, and strive against the hypocrites with well-expressed arguments. Be hard with both groups because that is what they deserve. Their resting place on the day of judgment will be hell. What an evil place they will end up in. At Taba, 73. It is not right for the Prophet and the believers to seek forgiveness from Allah for the idolaters, even if they are their relatives. After it has become clear to them that they are the people of the fire of hell, because they died as idolaters. At Taba, 113. And I made for the hellfire, many people from humankind and the jinn, because of my knowledge that they would do the actions of the people of hell. They have hearts by which they do not understand what will benefit them and what will harm them. Eyes which they do not use to see the signs of Allah within themselves and upon the horizons, so that they can learn from them. And they have ears which they do not use to listen to the verses of Allah, so that they might reflect over them. Such people resemble cattle in their lack of sense, rather, they are even more astray. They are oblivious to faith in Allah and the last day. Al-Araf, 179 Indeed, those who disbelieved, from the Jews, the Christians, and the idolaters, will enter into hell on the day of judgment, wherein they shall remain forever. They are the worst of the creation because of their disbelief in Allah and rejection of his messenger. al bayyana 6 And for those who disbelieve in their Lord, on the day of judgment there is the punishment of a raging fire. Very evil is place they will return to. When they will be thrown into the hell fire, they will hear an extremely evil sound, it will be bubbling like a boiling pot. It almost bursts within itself and comes apart due to its extreme rage over those that are thrown into it. Each time a group is thrown into it from the disbelievers, the angels appointed over it will ask them scoldingly. Did a messenger not come to you in the world, warning you of the punishment of Allah? The disbelievers will say, Indeed. A messenger did come to us warning us of the punishment of Allah but we rejected him, and we said to him, Allah did not reveal any revelation. O oh messengers! You are in nothing but clear deviance from the truth. The disbelievers will say, if we had listened, the disbelievers will say, if we had listened attentively, or had thought clearly like the one who can differentiate the truth from falsehood. We would not have been amongst the people of the hellfire. Rather, we would have had faith in the messengers and believed in whatever they brought, being from the people of paradise. So they will confess against themselves to having disbelieved and rejected, thereby being worthy of the hellfire. So away with the people of the hellfire. Al Mulk 6 11. Allah will put great fear in the hearts of the disbelievers, so that they are not able to stand firm to fight you. This is because of worshipping false gods next to Allah, and following their own desires, when no proof has been sent down to them to do so. Their resting place in the afterlife will be the fire of hell. What a miserable resting place the fire of hell is for the wrongdoers. Ali Imran 151. Disbelievers in Allah and his messenger will not be helped against Allah by their wealth or children, they will not prevent his punishment or bring his mercy to them. And distress will only increase, and they will be eternally companions of the fire of hell. Ali Imran, 116 those who disbelieved in Allah and reject my verses, which I revealed to my messenger, they are the people of the fire who will remain there forever. What an evil destination is theirs. At Tagabun, 10. Those who reject Allah's clear signs and verses, and are too proud to follow them, have lost everything, because the gates of heaven will not open to their actions because of their disbelief. Nor will they open for their souls when they die. Such people will never enter paradise until the camel, one of the largest animals, goes into the eye of a needle, one of the smallest things. The aforementioned is impossible, and so is the idea that they will ever enter paradise. In such a way does Allah reward those who stubbornly do wrong. Al-Araf, 40 As for the disbelievers, who reject Allah's signs, and do not have faith in them, too proud to act in accordance with what their messengers bring to them, they are the companions of hell. Where they will live eternally.
The greatest wrongdoer is the person who invents a lie about Allah, considering him to have a partner, or says he is deficient in some way, or says something about him that he has not said. Or rejects his clear signs and verses which guide to the correct way of life. Those who do such things will receive the portion of worldly pleasure that is destined for them in the preserved tablet, until the angel of death and his helpers come to them to take their souls. And they are asked, where are the gods you used to worship besides Allah, claiming they would help you? Call on those idols if they can benefit you. The idolaters will say to the angels. The gods we used to worship have gone, and that we do not know where they are. Then they will admit that they were disbelievers. But their admission at that time will be a proof against them and will not benefit them. Al-Araf, 36, 37 If your Lord, O Messenger, willed to make people one nation on the truth, he would have done so. But he did not will that, so they continue to differ with respect to it because of their following their desires and doing wrong. This is so except for those whom Allah showed mercy by giving them guidance. They do not differ with respect to his oneness, may he be glorified. For this test of disagreement, he created them. Some of them are wretched and others fortunate. The word of your Lord, O Messenger, in which he decreed in pre-eternity to fill hell with jinn and humans who follow Satan, is final. Alhud, 118-119 Perhaps your Lord, O Israelites, will have mercy on you after this severe reprisal if you repent to him and do good actions. But if you revert to causing corruption a third time or more than that, I will revert to taking reprisals from you. I have made hell a prison for the disbelievers, from which they will not find any release. Al-Isra, 8 And whoever Allah gives the ability for guidance is truly guided. And whoever he removes from it and leads astray, you will never find for them, O Messenger, protectors to guide them to the truth, repel harm from them and bring them benefit. And I will gather them on the day of judgment, being dragged on their faces, not seeing, speaking or hearing. Their abode towards which they will go is hell. Whenever the flames begin to subside, I will make them burn even more. Al-Isra, 97 and I shall present hellfire to the unbelievers without any confusion, so they can see it clearly. I shall present it to the disbelievers who were blind to the remembrance of Allah in the world, due to the veil which barred them from it. And they were unable to listen to and accept the verses of Allah. So did those who disbelieved in Allah think to make my servants among the angels, messengers and satans, gods besides me. I have prepared hellfire as a residing place for the disbelievers. Alkaf, 100-102 the matter and gist is that those who come to their Lord on the day of judgment as disbelievers will enter the fire to remain there forever. Therein they will not die and be relieved of its torment, nor will they live a pleasant life. Attaha, 74 Whoever turns away from this current which has been revealed to you and does not believe in it and act accordingly will come on the day of judgment carrying great sin and deserving a painful punishment. Staying in this punishment forever. How awful a burden they will be carrying on the day of judgment. Attaha, 100 colon 101. O oh, idolaters! You and whatever you worship instead of Allah, together with whoever is content with you worshipping them, shall be the fuel of hellfire. You and everything you worship will surely enter it. If these worship things were in reality gods that were worthy of being worshipped, they would not be entering the hellfire with their worshippers. Yet they shall all be entering it, having to remain in it forever, never to come out of it. al Anbaya, 98-99. There is no one more oppressive than the one who fabricates a lie with regards to Allah by attributing a partner to him, or by rejecting the truth that his messenger has brought to him. Undoubtedly there is an abode in hell for the disbelievers, and those like them. al 68 There is no one more wrong than the person who attributes to Allah what is not appropriate for him, such as a partner, spouse or child, and who denies the Quran. There is no one more wrong than the person who rejects the truth that the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, brought. Is there not in the fire an abode and home for those who reject Allah and what his messenger brought? Indeed, there is an abode and home for them there. Az Zumar, 32 On the day of resurrection, you will see those who told lies about Allah, by attributing a partner and son to him, their faces blackened, as a sign of their wretchedness. Is there not a place in hell for those who are too proud to have faith in Allah and his messengers? Indeed, there is a place for them in it. Az Zumar, 60 the angels will drive those who rejected Allah to the fire in large crowds. When they will come to hell, the angels appointed as its keepers will open its doors and receive them with reproach by saying to them. 
Did not messengers from your kind come to you reciting to you the signs of your Lord that were revealed to them? And warning you of meeting the day of resurrection because of the severe punishment therein. The disbelievers will say in confession, indeed, that took place, but the word of punishment is binding on the disbelievers and we were disbelievers. It will be said to them, to further humiliate them and so they may lose all hope in Allah's mercy and ever coming out of the fire, enter the doors of fire to remain therein forever. How terrible and bad is the place of those who were proud and arrogant against the truth. A. Z. Zumar, 71-72 Besides Alan, I earn your lols who could not benefit or harm. The disbelievers will say, they have disappeared from us, so we cannot see them. Besides Allah, from your idols who could not benefit or harm. The disbelievers will say, they have disappeared from us, so we cannot see them. In fact, we did not worship anything in the world which deserved to be worshipped. In the way these people were led astray, Allah leads the disbelievers astray from the truth in every era and place. It will be said to them, that punishment which you are suffering is due to your rejoicing over the idolatry you were upon and due to your excess in rejoicing. Enter the doors of hell, staying therein forever. Wretched is the abode in which those arrogant to the truth will reside. Gafur, 74-76 Indeed, the criminals who commit disbelief and sins will be in the punishment of hell on the day of judgment, wherein they shall remain forever. The punishment will not be lessened for them. They will lose all hope in the mercy of Allah in it. I will not oppress them by entering them into the hellfire, rather they oppress themselves by disbelieving. Az Zakraf, 74-76 as for those who disbelieve and deny his signs, they are the people of the fire of hell, who will live there eternally. Al-Baqarah, 39 Misery and great suffering awaits those who write the scripture with their own hands, and then say, falsely, that it comes from Allah, exchanging the truth and guidance for a small gain in this world. Such as money or leadership. They will experience misery and suffering because of what their hands have written, through which they told lies about Allah, and for whatever wealth or leadership they may gain through these lies. They say, falsely, that the fire of hell will not touch them and they will not be in it except for a few days. Ask them, O Muhammad, if they have had a promise from Allah that this will be the case, if they have had a promise, then Allah will not break his contract. Or ask them if they are saying about Allah what they do not know. It is not as they imagine. Allah repays those who reach the evil of disbelief, and whose disobedience dominates them, with suffering in the fire of hell, where they will live eternally. Al-Baqarah, 79-81 those who disbelieve and die in disbelief, not having repented, they are condemned by Allah by being removed from His mercy. And the angels and people all call for them to be removed and excluded from Allah's mercy. They will always be condemned, and their punishment will not be lightened, not even for a day, and they will not be given any extra time on the day of judgment. Al-Baqarah, 161-162 God takes care of those who have faith in Him. He grants them success and victory and takes them out of the darkness of disbelief and ignorance into the light of faith and knowledge. The friends of the disbelievers are Satan and his assistants who make disbelief seem beautiful to them and who take them from the light of faith and knowledge into the darkness of disbelief and ignorance. They are the people of the fire who will remain there forever. Allah takes care of those who have faith in him. He gives them success and victory and takes them out of the darkness of disbelief and ignorance into the light of faith and knowledge. The friends of the disbelievers are Satan and his assistants who make disbelief seem beautiful to them. And who take them from the light of faith and knowledge into the darkness of disbelief and ignorance. They are the people of the fire of hell who will live there eternally. Al-Baqarah, 257 And whoever's scales are light because of his bad deeds outweighing his good deeds, those are the ones who have wasted themselves by doing that which is harmful to them, i.e., disbelief and sins. And leaving faith and good actions that were beneficial for them. they will be in the fire of hell forever and will not come out of it. The fire will burn their faces. Therein, their top and bottom lips will shrink away from their teeth, due to severe frowning. It will be said to rebuke them, were the verses of the Quran not recited to you in the world but you used to deny them. They will say, Our Lord, our wretchedness which had already passed in your knowledge overcame us, and we were a people astray from the truth. Our Lord, take us out of the fire. If we return to the disbelief and misguidance we were upon, we will surely have wronged ourselves and our excuse will be broken. Allah will say, Sit in the fire and stay in there disgraced, never speak to me. There was a group of my servants who believed in me, saying, Our Lord, we have believed in you, so forgive our sins and grant us your mercy, and you are the best of those who show mercy. 
you took these believers who called upon their Lord as a joke, mocking them and making fun of them. Until being engrossed in mocking them made you forget Allah's remembrance and you used to laugh at them, jokingly and mockingly. I rewarded these believers with success through paradise on the day of judgment, due to their patience on Allah's obedience and the harm they used to receive from you. He will say, How many years did you spend on earth? And how much time did you waste therein? They will reply by saying, We stayed for one day or part of a day, so ask those who pay attention to counting days and months. He will say, You only stayed in the world for a short period, in which it was easy to persevere upon obedience, if only you knew the length of your stay. So do you think, O oh people, that I created you as a plaything without any wisdom, so that there will be no reward or punishment as with animals? And that you will not return to me on the day of judgment for the reckoning and recompense? So pure is Allah, the King, who does as he wishes with his creation, and who himself is true, his promise is true and his saying is true. There is no true deity besides him, Lord of the noble throne which is the biggest creation. He who is Lord of the biggest creation is Lord of all the creation. Al-Mu'minun 103-116